So we're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna do an unboxing. It's gonna be this. Here we go. We got the AT-AT Walker, the, or the AT-ATs. We're gonna unbox it really quick, but then what we're gonna do, I went to Michael's and got some new paint stuff, weather it up and make it look a lot more like the screen props. Let's get at it. So here we go. I don't want to spend too much time unboxing this thing because I really want to get to painting. Uh, this is the Micro Galaxy Squadron. Uh, we've got a bunch of these little tiny figures here. We've got a speeder bike. Um, on the back is everything that this does. Now this thing is really awesome and I thought it would make a great diorama style piece. Uh, it opens up here. We've got lights on the front. Um, lights and sound, so that's pretty awesome. Then uh, we, we can open everything up. We have interior lights in there, which is freaking incredible. We've got like cargo space where the speeder bikes go. I mean, there's so much awesome stuff going on here. And I figured with all of this detail and so much articulation, this is gonna make a great diorama piece. So let's get this unboxed and let's get to painting because that's really where I wanna go with this. All right, by the way, this is pretty big, by the way. Uh, we'll take a measurement in a second, but let's get this out of here. My God, this is a pain in the ass. All right, can we take a look at how tiny that this little speeder bike is? Um, we are looking at two inches. This thing is small. Here's the characters that we have here. Each one of these guys are about an inch. So these guys are really, really tiny. Now, I think what makes this amazing is that it's not too big. We're looking at, looks like maybe nine and a quarter inches and by somewhere about 11 inches wide. So it's not too big, it's not too small. It looks like it's just gonna be perfect for a display and maybe a little diorama piece. Now, we've got a bunch of great articulation, so we can get him in a nice uh, walking pose, kind of like they gave us in the box, something like that. So yeah, you can see there's actually a little bit of weathering already on this, so this is actually gonna be really nice. We've got most of the paint already done, but the weathering and the painting that we're gonna do here is just gonna bring this thing to life so much. So I actually grabbed a bunch of screenshots, just as reference photos, just to find out where the oil stains are. Um, again, each one of these are slightly different, you know, because I used a bunch of different ones on set. When you zoom in here, we've got a lot of a lot of burns and schmutz and everything going on there. Some drip stains over there. So I'm gonna try to emulate some of this stuff. I'm not gonna be exact. Um, they did a bunch of different versions. And you know, you, you watch the movie and like, it changes from scene to scene. I think they made eight, nine, ten of them or something like that back then. But I'm gonna use those reference photos just as an idea of where to put things and how I want it to look and some of the drip marks and all the stains and some of the oil things on here just to bring this thing up to the next level. I don't have uh, batteries in here to uh, see the light up stuff just yet, but uh, on the inside we've got a ton, ton of detail, uh, which I'm probably never gonna see again because once I put this on a shelf, it's just gonna sit there. Uh, but we've got, looks like the, uh, grappling line over here. All right, let's see what we are using here. So I've got uh, titanium white, black, brown, uh, burnt sienna. These are usually what I use for rust, uh, Mod Podge. That's probably, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna add some snow to the feet and a couple of different detail spots. So I might actually glue on um, some powder just to kind of you know seal it in there. Sponges, paper towels. Uh, I have a new set of paint brushes and that's about it. All right, so let's get to work. We're actually gonna start with a black wash. I'm gonna take my black acrylic. I put a little bit of it in a mason jar that I have here and added some water. And uh, basically what we wanna do is just really water down the paint to get a nice wash out of it. All right, then we got our paper towels because we're gonna paint and wipe and paint and wipe. Now again, we already have some weathering on here, so we're just gonna kind of add to it.
they could already see so much detail just coming out from uh, the crevices and everything. Just by getting all the black in there. Yeah, it's already looking so, so good. Oh yeah, I mean, all right, so here's the front, all right, and here's the side we haven't done yet. Look at that difference. So much more detail on that side than here. Looking so good. And a lot of times I like to dab like this just to add kind of a texture rather than just a wipe. That looks great. That really looks great. Here's the other side. All right, we're gonna add some great detail right in there. Really bring out these guns. I gotta tell you, you gotta be a little careful around these guns. You don't wanna kinda press or dab too much on that. So you're gonna wanna do some wiping and get in there. It's really tricky getting into some of these places under here. But you know, we'll, we'll do our best. Ah, 
right, let's flip this big boy around and start working on the other side. I mean, that is looking so, so good. Look at that. What a huge difference. Now, always keep in mind, weathering isn't perfect. You know, things happen, you know, other places will glob up a little bit more than other stuff. That's just how natural weathering looks. So don't think you need to get everything so perfect uh, because that's just not how weathering works. get to get the other side of the legs and the, and the paws and everything here. Gotta make sure you get everything around because we're dealing with 3D, you know, world rather than 2D world. on the washes the washes are the easiest part because you're just slapping some stuff on and wiping it off and slapping it on and wiping it off you know you're just at this point you're just looking to make things dirty all right we got one more leg and we got some undercarriage here and then I think we're done with the wash and then we'll work in uh, some of the uh, extra little stains and some rust All right, so as far as the washes, I think that wash is actually looking pretty darn good right now. We're gonna go back in now with some more black and then some rust and just kind of bring out a little bit more detail on the edges and around the panels and everything. All right, so I'm referring to some of these panels here and it looks like we have a lot of oil drips. So this is more of what we're gonna focus on. We have a lot of like drip stains and some schmutz over there. We have a little bit of a darker area around this panel. So we're gonna kind of concentrate a little bit on this now and then and then kind of emulate that all around so I'm actually gonna add a little bit more solid black right out of the, uh, the tube here and then just put a little bit of water to thin it down as I'm going and then we're gonna start with the details over in the corners
So now I'm really kind of focusing on just like over here in this little section here, we have some darker spots and some smudges and everything, which I'm gonna to try to emulate just a little bit. Now remember, once we're done with this side, we still have to do the other side. So as soon as you're happy here, just gotta flop this little guy around and you gotta work on his other side because it can't just be lopsided. Uh, let's put a little, couple of like little things here. Nice. On the corners. All right, then we're gonna do a couple of the same things around the legs here. Now right now I'm not really following any, uh, any template or pattern. I'm just kind of caking on a little bit of dirt here and there in the corners. Now we're gonna do the same around the head. So here we are on side two, the flip side here, and we are basically gonna do the same thing.
All right, I think we're looking good with that. Now we're gonna work over into some of our rust look just to add some uh, more depth and everything into where rust would probably be around some of the edges and everything, maybe a, you know around there. Um, so we're gonna work on some of that. Not too much, just a little bit of something here and there. All right, so what I'm doing for my rust color, I have a burnt sienna and I've got my black and a little bit of water just to kind of water it down. Um, but this way I can control how bright I want the rust color to kind of come through. This is actually pretty good. These are gonna mostly be in the corners and on some of the edges. It doesn't have to be too much. It's just a little something to break up um, just all the black. Again, not too much, just around some certain edges here and there. It'll definitely help break up just that straight out black look. All right, well, I don't know how much of this I want to do because I don't want to overdo the rust, you know? All right, so now around the face, we kind of have like these really big dark uh, spots over here, kind of like grease stains and everything. So we're gonna try to work a little bit of that in now. looking really really good on the head there I don't know how much more I really want to do uh, as far as adding some of these dark washes here so I think we're in a really really nice spot all right so I think that is a finished wash uh, looks like we got a lot of the details to come out a lot of the stains and some of the rust All right, so this next part, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it or how it's gonna even come out. Um, I do have just basic titanium white. I have Mod Podge and I have typical powder from the bathroom. Now, I don't know what the best technique is for this. Um, should I just use the titanium and paint on some snow? Should I put Mod Podge in the area and just throw on some powder so it looks snowy? Um, Maybe I should just use this as a base and then put the Mod Podge and snow over it. Or do I mix the powder in with the white? So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting because I've never actually done this before. So let's give a couple of techniques a try. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna use, what brush should I use? 
I'm able to use more of a fine tip so I can get in there with some detail. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is try the paint and mix some powder into the paint as I go. All right, so I'm actually gonna pour some powder right next to the titanium white I have here. And I think I'm gonna kind of just work them in together. Cause I don't really know the best way to do this to make it somewhat realistic. Um, all right, well, here we go. Let's give this a try. Yeah, there's actually a little bit of powder mixed in with the paint. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if that's the best way to go. I might have to put the paint on first and then coat the top of it with some snow. But let's see what we can get here. It looks like we got some snow right around there. There's some going on here. Now I'm not going for exact accuracy. I'm just going for just a basic outline of where stuff was. Some there. Uh, let's see, we got some going over here in the corner. Put over here on the top. Going up this side. Got some on the guns here, which obviously makes sense. There's some schmutz going on over there and over there. So I, so I do think in some sense, this is gonna have to be a more personal interpretation of what's going on here. So obviously snow is gonna come down and fall. So we're gonna have to have the snow kind of on top of things. So it wouldn't be underneath, it would be on anything that's on top. So let's put a little bit on the gun here. And remember, keep this very light. It shouldn't be too much. I'm talking like little speckles like that. You can, you can see how light I'm going there. Let's see if I can bring it a little closer. You know, it's just tiny, tiny little, almost like a little dry brushing. And it doesn't have to be everywhere, just here and there just to give a, an indication that there was snow sitting on top. Now, I do think the most of the snow that uh, you want to accumulate is gonna be around the feet because he is walking through the snow So I think a lot of whatever's gonna go on is gonna be down here. And right now I'm just using the straight uh, paint. I actually don't have any powder mixed in there. I think I may go back and put a little bit of Mod Podge on top of some of these white spots here and then I'll add a little bit of the powder to it. Right, that is looking pretty, pretty nice, I gotta say. You know, maybe some snow got buckled up on some of these doors here. A couple of parts.
So yeah, I think we're looking pretty, pretty good. Let me zoom this out a little bit so you can see a little. Really, really liking all that. And you know, and I kept it subtle. We didn't do too much snow, just enough to add some highlight and uh, some detail. And then what I'm gonna do now is go back in with a little bit of the Mod Podge, then add some of the powder around some of these spots here. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is mostly focus the powder stuff around the paws. that on there that way it kind of looks like a little bit of a build-up right. nice I'm quite certain there's a better way of putting snow on <laughs> but I'm just kind of winging this Now, I think we're gonna do the same thing kind of around the head and around some of the spots on the top here. Now, and this, without a doubt, gives it a real nice sense of realism. So that's been sitting around for a little bit. Now I'm gonna put a coat of uh, matte clear, just to kind of seal everything in there a little bit. That is it. That is the finished at at the AT AT. Um, I mean, I think it came out really, really nice. So I am really, really happy with this. Uh, what do you guys think? Drop down below in the comments and let me know. And while you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe, and notification button for upcoming videos. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out during this video. I hope you made it to the end. And if you did, I hope this came out cool enough that it made it worth watching. All right, I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.